help. Through some sort of an accident, my company shortened their accounts. The bank examiner got there today. I've got to raise $8,000 immediately. Listen, listen to me. Thank Thank I can't think anymore, George. I can't think anymore. It hurts. Where's that money, you silly, stupid old fool? Please help me, Mr. Potter. Help me, won't you, please? Can't you see what it means to my family? Is this the sort of thing we pay taxes for, to have teachers, to have teachers like you, stupid, silly, careless people that send our kids home without any clothes on? The next time you talk to my wife like that, you'll get worse. She cried for an hour. What have you been doing, George? Uh, playing the market with the company's money? No, sir. No, sir. I am. Oh, is it a woman, then? Uh, <laughs> you're worth more dead than alive. Ridiculous of you to think of killing yourself for money. $8,000. Yeah, now, think, just things like that. How do you know that? I told you I'm your guardian angel. I know everything about you. I suppose it would been better if I'd never been born at all. What'd you say? I said I wish I'd never been born. Mr. Gower, look, this is George Bailey. Don't you know me? Oh. Oh, this is some sort of a funny dream I'm having. So long, Mr. I'm going home. Oh, what home? Now, shut up. Cut it out. Hey, where'd the building and loan move to? Building and what? The Bailey building and loan was up there. They went out of business years ago. Look, bud, what's the idea? I live in a shack in Potter's Field. My wife ran away three years ago and took the kid, and I ain't never seen you before in my life, see? Come on out here, both of you. Bert! Thank heaven you're here. Back there. Bert, what's happened to this house? Wait, where's Mary? Where's my kids? Watch them, Bert. Mother, this... This is George. I thought sure you'd remember me. George who? That's a lie. Harry Bailey went to war. He got the Congressional Medal of Honor. He saved the lives of every man on that transport. Every man on that transport died. Harry wasn't there to save them because you weren't there to save Harry. 